A new tick-borne illness has reached Kentucky, claiming the lives of two beef bulls of opposite ends of the state. So should farmers everywhere in the bluegrass be concerned? And what about people who eat meat and drink dairy products? Well, LEX 18's Michael Burke takes a look. Grazing in the pasture without a care in the world. But inside the offices of the state's agriculture department, it's a much different story for the commissioner and his team of veterinarians. What we've got here is a situation where we have a tick arthropod vector that can carry diseases, certain germs. It's an Asian longhorn tick, and it can carry what's called tyleria. That organism has so far, Dr. Barling believes, contributed to the death of two beef bulls, one in Hart County, the other in Fleming. But there could be more infected. In fact, in all likelihood, there are more. We have found the tick in at least 17 states, and that number is growing. And because of that, awareness needs to grow as well. At today's cattle sale at the Bluegrass Stockyards, CEO Jim Akers knew all about the ALT tick since it first popped up west of the Rockies. I know they've been monitoring for these ticks for quite some time, watching to see if they did show up here. Um, I, I have to feel like they've got a really good handle on the, the uh, gravity and the scope of the situation. Certainly seems that way, and what they learned is that an infected cow or bull is likely to be a carrier for life. Could it cause some reduced performance, some health issues on some isolated farms? Jim said that is certainly possible, and Dr. Barling agreed, and both expressed supreme confidence that the meat and dairy consumer is not at risk. The Tyleria orientalis aikida, the cow disease, is not transmissible to humans, or we've not documented that. There is no human risk there, and, and so you know, everybody needs to be very comfortable with that. So for now, only they need to be concerned. In Scott County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.